Light's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> you uh, sometimes are glad to have light. You know, walking in the darkness of outside where you might step on a snake or come across some kind of critter. And it's good to have light. It's good to have light when you're walking around places. <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, places where you might stub your toe. Uh, but sometimes uh, light's not so pleasant. Uh, in the early morning, the sun shines in the kitchen window and it reveals cobwebs and dirt on the window. Because of the incision on my arm and the stitches, I have been reluctant to get into the dirt of pressure washing those windows and cleaning up those screens. And uh, I'm not too pleased when I see that light reflecting on that dirt and those cobwebs that uh, I need to be addressing. The same thing is true in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. God shines a light out of darkness. It's a good light in the fact that it reveals and enables us to renounce things that are wrong, things that are hidden, come to the truth. But sometimes for those that don't believe, it tells us in verse 3, the gospel is veiled. And that is, God takes those hearts that are disbelieving and hardened and he hides the truth from them. It's kind of hard to understand sometimes why God would want to hide the truth, except that they took the first step and said that they were not going to be believing. In verse 6, it says, God said the light would shine out of darkness and uh, is the one who has shown into our hearts to give light of knowledge of the glory of God and the face of Christ. That's a good light. It's interesting because he moves quickly from this light that reveals, this light that sometimes uh, has been filtered and hidden from those that don't believe, and he moves into a totally different, seems like, subject in this fact that he says, we're afflicted on every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not despairing, persecuted, but not forsaken struck down but not destroyed. It's another one of those verses that says the pie in the sky prosperity gospel is not the consistent full gospel that I read in my Bible. Because it says we're afflicted in every way. It says that we can be perplexed, despairing, persecuted, and, and yet we're not destroyed. We're not forsaken but doesn't say we're not going to go through those things. The light. The light tells us that life here on earth is not easy. It's not easy to be a consistent Christian. It's not easy to walk Christ's way. But it is worth it. Just as we need light to reveal those things that need to be cleaned up and corrected like my windows and my screens. It reveals those things that need to change, those things that need to be fixed. And for those that don't believe, we can pray that they would soften their hearts and that God would then shine the light on the truth, that they might see the face of Christ, they might see the image of God, they might recognize their perishing. It's an interesting passage of scripture. We challenge you to read it. We challenge you to look at it and see if there's some light shining into your life. Maybe you're not happy with what it reveals, but maybe it's time to take some action. Or maybe you're going through difficulties and you need to read the second part of this particular section of scripture in chapter four where it says that sometimes we go through difficult times, but we 
will overcome and Christ will never leave us. We may feel forsaken. We may feel struck down, but we're not destroyed. And we may feel difficulty, but he's there for us. That's your thought for today. God bless you and have a great day. Come from.